Hi, and welcome to another edition of Onside SA. It's our soccer show, and uh, we've really got some interesting uh, things coming through. But let's start again. We, we, we're pushing to get started by the time the Premier League starts, this yep. last one standing. Yep. And some people uh, aren't up to speed with what's going on, but everything seems to be in place now. Yeah, yesterday we finalized the Facebook page, Onside SA Soccer Show. Go on there. The rules are on. Just leave my name and email addresses on, so if people need information, just get hold of me. Yeah. yeah, well, the people who are out there listening to us, uh, what is going to happen is that it's called Last One Standing, and uh, where every person puts in 100 rand to take part in the competition, it's for charity, and we're going to, the, the rules are simple, every week you pick a team, it has to win. If your team draws or gets beat first week, you're out. And you cannot repeat a team. So you can't go Man United this week, next week, or uh, Man United again. It's got to yeah. be somebody else. But I say it can't go seven weeks. It's just too difficult. No, it's tricky. Yeah. So you never know. The big teams win early on, Paul. Yeah, yeah. correct. But, and also you've got to remember that there is a prize that goes with it. The guy who wins it will be flown to England with Budge to go and uh, watch the team of his choice stay over for a couple of nights and fly back. So it's a wonderful prize. And uh, we will give you details, but go on the website, Onside SA, is that it? Onside SA, Soccer Show, yeah. Soccer Show, and then get yourself registered to take part. Already people are streaming in to prove that they can make this trip. It's very difficult, and uh, it, it's a formula that's worked before. The rules are very straightforward. If at the end, after six weeks, there's two of you left, and you both go out, then it's... No, it's sudden death. Play to a winner, Paul. Play to a winner. That's yep. the way it is. Play to a winner. So you've got to stay in, and that is uh, very important. So this last one standing. Very, it'll pick up a lot of momentum, and it starts when the Premier League starts. It's the 12th of August, I think. It's a Saturday. Only Saturday, Sunday, and Monday games. No midweek or Friday games. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a wonderful prize, and it's a, it's a very good idea. And it keeps you interested, and try and get the bragging rights as well. And... Uh, you'll be flown overseas. But let's get rolling with uh, the show this week. Firstly, Budge, new signings. We always start at the Premier yeah, League. Yeah, Kyle Walker to Man City. I find desperate signing. You know, a good signing, but you can't pay 50 million for a right back. It's the highest the right backs ever. Uh, Any defender, I think, in England's geez. gone. But it just shows the money. You know, yeah. we, we look back 10 years and you say, she's they paid that amount for Shearer or something yeah. like that. Do they have pails? No, 50 million. Remember, they bought Sturridge two years prior. Stones for 49 last year. Yeah. That's sick money, but he's English. A man said he need English players. So, that's true. Uh, that's they've so got to have the closest well, to the Champions English. League. Yeah, that's Sturridge. right. So they've bought him. They've got Fabian you know, he's Delph. England international. He's done well for us. No, we, good player. Good player. There's no doubt about it. Now, what about uh, Monaco? They bought from Monaco. Yeah, Baka, uh, Chelsea. Yoko, yeah. Holding midfield player. Good so, player. Uh, good player. Yeah, we had a good last season, Paul. But the French League and the English League... Obviously, it's day and night, but yeah. uh, he had a good season for Monaco last year. Chelsea have struck again with Alvaro Morata. Well, they say he was signed last night or this morning. He's got a medical at Chelsea today, according to the report. 70, 70 million? 70 million, yeah. Yeah, they put, they're putting them up in, in the superstar ranges, you know. Yeah, and he's... What would Messi be worth? Well, you know, <laughs> These just, guys are going for 70. Yeah, it's a joke, but... Uh, and Joe Hart on loan to On loan, yeah. They had to pay 4.5 million to Man City, but that was covering, I think, a bit of his wages. He's on 175 a week. So Man City would, would pay a certain amount and West Ham the balance. But four and a half million they had to... We, we, yeah, when, with Eddie Bayo, we had to, Man City yeah. had to pay while he was with us. Jack, but look like Carl Waters, Walker's salary is going to jump because Spurs have got a cap. Cap, I think Spurs is 80 or something. No, it's like, higher. It's about 140 it a, or something. Oh, OK. Yeah. Uh, so Carl Walker could go to double that. Yeah, he'll go at least 200. At least. So he, yeah, he's so uh, well done to him. He's moved yeah. on. Those are your Premier League uh, ship signings now. Well, an interesting article you brought to my attention, but mm. is they've got youth academies. All these top clubs have got yeah. youth academies, and the graduates of the youth academy are now in time working their way into the system, into the Premier League. And you've got the stats of which clubs being the yeah. most successful bringing them through. Well, Man United had 34 players that came from the academy that played in the Premiership last year. You know, they've got the minutes. I think it's just under 45,000 minutes they paid. Oh, they played, sorry. Yeah. You know, we're taking players like Michael Keane and Tom Heaton at Burnley, but they came through the academy That's at United. That's what counts. You've got to come through. So you bring them through, but if, if they don't make it, you, you sell them on and make money out of them, or you yeah. try and recoup your costs. That's right. And then second, my uh, beloved Spurs. Spurs, yeah. You know, they've always thrown one or two. You know? Yeah. Obviously, Harry Kane was their main one last year, but... Yeah. Uh, I looked yeah, at uh, Spurs have gone to America on tour, yeah. and Sissoko didn't go. They said he had a virus, but they took 26 players. And I looked at the new yeah. names. Tony Giorgio. 
Tony Georgia. <laughs> Spurs have got a new kid called Tony Georgia. Probably, well, Phil was a good player. Yeah. I don't know if Tony was, yeah. but, but uh, so it's very interesting. I'll keep an eye on young no. Georgia for Well, for they've got to bring them through, Paul. You know, yeah. it's nothing wrong with we, that. We, you know, just touching on Spurs because I follow them. We, mm. we've, we've been good at bloody young yeah, players. Yeah, I like the little, is it Winks? Is his Winks? name? Winks? The midfield yeah, Winks players coming through. There's a couple at the back that are coming yeah. through. So I, I don't think Spurs are going to buy. They've got 50 million in the kitty. I don't think they're going to buy. Well, they the last two buys were a joke. So Yeah, uh, yeah I think they've got to move problem. on. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Okay, third Man City yeah. in the academy. But uh, there's only one player that came through the academy that actually played for Man City, and that's Ian Nietzsche, the Nigerian. You know, you take Casper Smarkel. He came through the academy. But he's Man Leicester. City? Yeah, he came through the academy there, yeah. Okay. So they've only, only one kid. Came through that uh, actually played for Man City. That, last is, that year. is interesting. Fourth now, Southampton or fourth? Yeah. They've always been a, a wonderful nursery. Yeah. If, if if you go back to the likes of Bale, the yeah. likes of the boys who went to Arsenal, yeah. the two youngsters yeah. at Arsenal, Oxlade, Chamberlain, and then yeah. there, then there's the England internationals that, that are at Liverpool. Yeah, well, I think they've got four players. I think more Southampton graduates played for Liverpool last year than more than only played for Southampton minutes wise anyway. That's right. So uh, Southampton are fourth. And just a little interesting note, in 17th Liverpool, what's happened yeah. to the academy? Well, yeah, Jurgen Klopp's come and he's obviously had a look. They've got players that have played, but he doesn't trust them. Yeah. So uh, I think it'll change this year now they're in Europe, Paul. Without European football last year, yeah. you know, it was hard for him. Now he's going to have to mix a match with yeah. League Cups and Champions League. So I think there'll be a lot more The this Tupperware year. Cups and all that, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, well, those are the graduates. Right, now let's get on to, uh, we uh, had two successful winning bets over the weekend. Yeah. It's very tough, but South African soccer is building up too. I see, yeah. I think, Marisburg United have just bought a player, a goalkeeper. It's getting very interesting, and both those leagues are going to really keep us occupied in yeah. time. But for the time being, we're going through Swedish and American are back on, on yeah. line. So let's look at uh, the Swedish... How do you say it? Allsvenskan. Allsvenskan, yeah. Allsvenskan, there we go. No. Yeah, fancy Holmstead. Ironically, a lot of these teams played each other last week. Why are they playing again? No idea, you know. But uh, Holmstead got beat 2-1 last week. I think they'll, they'll change it. I think they'll get a result this week, Holmstead. I think they'll be too good for GIF, Sunsville. Malmo, strangely, got knocked out the Champions League on Tuesday by a Macedonian team. Jeez. So that doesn't augur too well for them. And I think young Koping Sodra is going to feel the wrath of that. So one yeah. to three Malmo looks a good thing, and I'd be looking at the handicap as well. Yeah, They'll get to win by more than one, but the betting wasn't out for the handicap, so we didn't have an interest there. Sirius Hacken, you know Hacken. Sirius drew three three with Malmo last Saturday, but Malmo made like six changes. Yeah, so a good result them. But Hacken, second best defensive record in the league. The only team that's beat them have played is Malmo, and they had two players sent off. So I think Hacken win and draw there. Okay. Jer Gardens, Ostersons. Ostersons beat them 2-1 last week, but uh, obviously away. I fancy the home team purely because Ostersons play Galatasaray in the Europa League tonight in Turkey. They beat yeah. them 2-1 at home last week, but it'll be an uphill, yeah. uphill battle. So, so I think so Jer Gardens... Just, just a few days off. Just Thursday, to... Sunday. Yeah, that's, that's not, easy. not easy. That's why Mourinho yeah, did what he did last year. Yeah. The rest of the players for the Europa League. For yeah. the Tupperware Cups. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then let's keep going through the Swedish League. Yeah, the second page, likewise. Now, ironically, the away teams won every game last week of these meetings. I can't believe the betting is, is what it is. You know, I like Ora Brother. We're falling up... At one stage, they beat them 4-2 at the end. I think Orobro will get a, at least a point there. They're Eskils, 10th and 11th in the yeah, league. So now, Eskils, Tuna, the, but Kalmar, I think, have got three points from the last nine games. Last week, they went to Eskils, Tuna. 7-10, yeah. Eskils, Tuna beat them 2-1 at home last week, their first win. I don't see them getting beat. And the last one, Augsburg, in great form. I think they'll get a result there as well. Win and draw Augsburg. So it could be, uh, again, it could be the way teams that yeah, uh, you know, influence it. They're the better odds. Definitely, yeah. Okay, let's go back to the MLS. Yeah. Now, the American MLS, as we know, there's two lines of it. Two conferences, and, uh, they, yeah. Two conferences, and they travel oh, it's extraordinary amount, distances, yeah. you know, and uh, invariably the home teams win there. Yeah. yeah there were but, some uh, of the games were finished at Hoppo 6 this morning, so... Uh, yeah. Well, let's have a look at that yeah. and, and, and see uh, what's going on here. New yeah. York City. Uh, second place, third. New York City drew last night with Toronto at home. You know, Chicago far never played, so it gives them a chance. That's our man, Busty and Schweinsteiger's team. They're unbeaten 11. I see Chicago getting at least a point there. Yeah. Now, Minnesota have only won five games this year, all been at home. They're one of the teams that got promoted last year, expansion team. New York Red Bulls, Paul, good team. I think they'll win this. The odds weren't out, but... 
I'd expect to be around about the 12, 14 to 10 mark New York Red Bulls. Yeah. Yeah. DC United, Houston Dynamo, two struggling teams. You know, DC at home obviously be slight favourites, but any results possible there. Toronto going well. They got a point loss, not at New York They're City. Top of the log, eh? Top of the log, top of their yeah. Conference, they've, they've played a game extra, but uh, still, they'll be too strong for Colorado Rapids. Columbus Crew, I think, are good things. They've won the last four home games against Philadelphia Union, who got beat last night. Okay. Second pages, Montreal as well, you know, at home, dangerous team. They've won the last four as well. Now, Dallas never played last night. They high up in the league, so you never know where the freshness. They struggle away. Struggle away, but you never know whether the freshness and the, they've had the break will come into it. But uh, I think that's a funny game, that one, the top one. New England, LA Galaxy. LA Galaxy got beat one nil at home last night. New England have lost their last four, but it's a long fright from Los Angeles to Nine Boston. Nine plus ten, yeah. Yeah, and, and, so and, I fancy New England, Paul. Yeah, I can't have sure. uh, LA Galaxy on the form that they're at. Real Salt Lake, Sporting Kansas City, tough game. Two teams that are in form. <laughs> Real Salt Lake won 4 1 last night. They were the top of their conference. Yeah, so uh, that's a hard game, that yeah. one, Paul. Does it play where in Utah? That's uh, Utah, yep. Utah, yeah. And the Vancouver Whitecaps? Vancouver Whitecaps, White Caps, you know, hard to beat at home, Paul. Uh, yeah. Portland Timbers, they're both up there. Uh, both, uh, yeah, both up, both up there, but of the two teams, I like Vancouver Whitecaps and Seattle. Fancy okay. them to get a result over San Jose, yeah. All right, so again, it's a situation where we're looking at our bets. We caught them last week. It wasn't easy. The Brazilian teams are very hard to catch accurately. Yeah. But let's go through uh, Budge's uh, selections for the uh, Soccer Six. Okay, the first one, I've banked Homestead to beat uh, GIF Sonsville. I've gone for Malmo. They should be too good for young copping Sodra. I've gone the field with Sirius and BK Hacken. I've gone Dega Four's win and draw against Trelleborgs, and I've put the field in the two in the first Swiss game, Lausanne versus St. Gallen. Now Basel are the best team there, but it's the first, the opening game in Switzerland. So I've thrown the draw in. If you want to halve your bet and bank a Basel, I wouldn't blame you. But there's always upsets the first games of these seasons. Two one six. Two one six. Yeah. Okay. Your next one's two one six as well, but yeah, that's the. Uh, the American one. I've gone the field with Montreal Impact against Dallas. I've banked Toronto against Colorado. I've gone DC United win and draw against Houston Dynamo. I've banked Columbus Crew. I've gone win and draw New England against LA Galaxy in the field in the last game. Okay, another 2 1 6. Right, let's yep. move on to the 10, the soccer well, 10. soccer 10, you know, Victoria at home. Should be too good for Chappie Coenze. What are they beat. famous for? Well, that was the air crash. That's right, yeah. Sorry, it shouldn't be yeah. famous and authority. Yeah. I, I feel sorry for them, but they, they, they started rebuilding their fire They've got a result at home. Yeah, they, they, for the, at home, that's what's going to keep them alive. Yeah. There's no pun intended, but uh, yeah. they get a, that's what's going to keep them in the league. Yes. But I don't see them getting anything in Victoria. I think Flamengo will be too good for Coritiba. New York Red Bulls win and draw at Minnesota. I've gone the field in the Montreal-Dallas game. Chicago to get at least a draw at New York City. Win or draw at Chicago. I've banked Toronto. I've gone the field with DC United against Houston Dynamos. I've gone banker Columbus Crew. I've gone win and draw New England and the field in uh, Real Salt Lake, Kansas City. 432. 432. Yeah, if you want to halve the bet, obviously bank of one of the New York Red Bulls, you can halve the bet. Okay, now how these, about the, yeah, the 13? The this 13, is tough. well, it's always tough, Paul, you know, but... You know, they pay well? Well, you catch one, you... You're out of it. You're out of it, you're yeah. right, you know. You know, I've banked Holmstead to beat GIF Sunsville. I've banked Malmo to beat Young Copping Sodra. I've gone BK Hacking in the draw at Sirius. I've gone Degafors win and draw at Trellersborg. I've banked Helsingborg over Orgart. I've gone Falkensburg win and draw at Norby. I've banked Varberg to beat Gefle. I banked the biggest club in the world to beat at Wittersburg. Now, the next two are the European Championship women. France are a good team. They're one of the favourites to win it. This um, is women's soccer, right? Women's soccer, yeah. France it, will beat to Austria. It interna it's yeah, international. Yeah, European Championships. Okay. Uh, you can bank a Switzerland. So they've only watched them play one game. Yeah. They play Arsenal. They should be too good for Arsenal, but I permalize it. So I've thrown the draw in there. I've gone win and draw Joe Gardens against Ostersons. I've gone Orobro win and draw at RFK Gothenburg and Eskilstuna win and draw at Kalmar. Okay, well, we're taking, uh, taking shape there. Let's have a look at Budgie's bets because that's where we've been uh, making a couple of pounds. Yeah, obviously, the, the six the bets. I've uh, gone for Homestead to beat GIF Sunsville. I've gone the three 
super rating teams. Yeah, the odds were quite good on them. Bromma Pochkala to beat at Wittesburg. I've gone Helsingborg to beat Orgrat, and I've gone Warburg to beat Geffle in yeah, 2,200. Uh, okay, the American mate, bet, yeah. yeah. I've gone Toronto to beat Colorado, Columbus to beat Philadelphia, Chicago Fire to win or draw at New York City, and uh, the New York Red Bulls to win or draw at Minnesota. That sounds a good bet. Okay, Norwegian quad. A quad, yeah. Well, we got stuck out by them. Yeah, we've gone for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's team again this week. You know, I've gone for them to beat Tromso, Sarpsburg to beat Holgersen, and I've gone win and draw Valerenga against Trom Godset and Brand Bergen to get at least a draw at uh, Olesen, 8-1. Just, just staying on that for a moment, but yeah. before we move on, a, a, a bloke like Oli Gunnar, mm -hmm. would he get back into Premier League at some stage? Well, he was at Cardiff, young. remember, there was yes. a Chinese owner that yes. brought him there, but uh, you would expect so. But, yeah. you know, yeah, people are you sceptical. You've got you to do, do well. well in Norway. He's done well in Norway. Has he? But, uh, you know, the English who came up with Cardiff and promotion team, he got the chance, but it didn't pan out too well. Yeah, so it was so, like unless you, he, you got there's some good pl players who've gone become managers, the yeah. Giggses of this world. Yeah. What's Giggs doing? Well, you know, he's just doing the TV punditry. Yeah, yeah. So okay. He deserves a chance, but they've got to go into the championship. Yeah, and I don't think half of them want to because that's not an that's easy a, league. Oh, that's not easy. The, you, the three that go down are never the three that come up. No, never, never. It's just too tough. Right, let's go on, Budge. Yeah, the uh, Norwegian. Uh, sorry, the win and draw quartet. They're all Swedish. We've gone uh, Hacken at Sirius. We've gone Eskilstuna at Kalmar. Orebro against RFK Gothenburg. And Elsborg against Hammerby. That worked at eight and a half to one. Okay. And then the last two we got Yeah, the one we caught last week. You know, the over two and a half goals market. So it's a minimum of three. Rosenborg versus Christiansen. Malmo, Young, Copping, Sodra. Toronto against Colorado. And New England versus the Galaxy. All got to be over two and a half goals. Okay. And the six or next, uh, I've gone Rosenberg. Straight wins? Straight wins, yeah. Rosenberg, who knocked out Dundalk in the Champions League last night. They play Christian Sint at home. I think they'll be too good. Likewise, Malmo over Young Corping Sodra. Toronto to beat Colorado. Seattle to beat San Jose. Flamingo to beat Coritiba. And Corinthians to beat Fluminense. 13 to 1. Okay, Budge, we just need to nail a couple of those. And they, as you can see, we're building up to the new seasons coming, the South African season and the, the British uh, Premier League, which starts on the 12th of August. So uh, a lot to work for, but don't forget, we've spoken to you about last one standing. Go on to the website and uh, Onside SA Soccer Show. Go on there, all the details, the rules, and uh, you can put your money in and get yourself ready to see if you're going to win that trip overseas. Budge, already the people are starting to put their money Yeah, in. I've got 16 entries already. That yeah, was just walking through the tote. You know, yeah, so, no, uh, the, 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 the boys will be in. I know yeah. we've got to push this. Now, and, uh, no, we will, Paul. It's, you know, it's just, it's just getting thing. the rules sorted out was the first one, yeah? Yeah. where the prize isn't transferable. Yes. So you win, I just take my son. No. Yeah, you, you go. Know, you have to go. Unless, you know, we've got a, an organizing committee. I spoke with Bruce Armstrong. You know, yes. Bruce is our legal advisor. Okay. So anybody tries to get clever, you know, we've, we've got covered. a yeah. quality lawyer on our side. Yeah. So, well, that, that's, that's good news. So we're in there. So please have a look at that because... That's where the bragging rights come in. You don't mm. want to be sitting a week two in the Premier League saying, I should have entered this because yeah. my teams have yeah. won. And that's the key. You've got to keep winning. And that's about all for this week, Budge. All, yeah. all right. Yeah. We'll see you again next week. Make sure you're on side.